Hey everybody and welcome to another episode of GGRC. Today we're going to be taking a look at Elder Scrolls Legends. Now, this is the game that has been compared to Hearthstone quite a bit lately and it's pretty easy to make that comparison because the games are very similar. Yes, this is another digital card game, uh, but I gotta say, it's a, it's a good one. Um, I haven't played a whole lot of it, so I've only played maybe a couple hours of it. Uh, mostly that was getting through the beginning story of the game, and that is one of the biggest differences between this and Hearthstone that I could see so far, is that this one actually has a good comprehensible story, like a, an actual plot that flows from beginning to where we are now. Um, and I, I thought that that was really interesting because it's something you don't find in Hearthstone. Hearthstone is a great game on its own merit, but to, to load this up and then you immediately get a character and uh, they're, they're running you through the basics of the game in a tutorial, but also telling a story at the same time with the card play. is just, I don't know, it seemed to fit really well. So yeah, it's it's like your your basic, you know, digital card game. You can uh, you have your collection here where you can click into it. You can build your own deck and collect custom cards to build these decks. And you can switch between different decks to, you know, switch cards out and everything like that. I actually haven't gotten too deep into a lot of this, but you can actually collect quite a few cards. And you have a lot of different uh, classes for the cards here as well. And we'll head back to our options here. You have your profile character right here. If you click onto that, you can actually see how many cards that you've unlocked from all the, the different expansions or, or different... Uh, I don't know, I, I guess you just call them expansions, right? But you know, all the different expansions and, and sets of cards that are going to be available in the game. Um, so yeah, you can see that we've unlocked 7% of the Skyrim cards here. You can also see that we've uh, collected 21% of the core cards. But there's also the Dark Brotherhood, which we've collected 0% because you actually have to purchase that. And yes, there are uh, items that you could purchase in this. Oh yeah, don't get me wrong. There's DLC to be purchased, that is true. But here, uh, you also see that we have daily quests that you can do. So, one of the daily quests that you can do is attack and destroy 15 creatures, um, play 10 actions, and complete Act 2. So there's a, a few different things that you can do here. I've only finished Act 1, so that's about as far as I've gotten. Other things you can unlock are uh, new profile pictures. Uh, I'm really like the uh, Argonian, always have. I've always been a, a lizard, dragon type of fan. Um, but I went with the smuggler type of picture here. But if you click through, you can pick uh, all kinds of different uh, characters and uh, portraits and whatnot. So as you can tell, lots to pick from. I'm going to stick with my Argonian because I am a fan of that one. You can also pick between different titles here. So I'm using the smuggler because I got that for completing chapter 8. Uh, you get these four starting titles here that you can pick from, which is kind of cool. But as you can see, as you complete other quests and other things throughout the game, you can get other titles, which is kind of fun. Reminds me of World of Warcraft that way, you know, you complete certain quests in the world to get new titles, which is kind of cool. You can also check out your stats, how, how much you played the game, and, you know, all that kind of stuff as well. Match history. It's all there. If you want to, If you want to keep track of all your stats in the game, it's all there for you. There's also a rank, which I have not gotten too far into yet to understand what exactly is uh, going on with that yet. I believe it's going to play into your online rank. Uh, online uh, play does not unlock until you've reached a certain point in the story. Um, and that is to say you can play certain uh, games uh, or certain card games of this online with people if you feel like it. Um, but it actually suggests, hey, we'd rather you finish part of the story before going in. So you can see, solo arena, locked until chapter 14. Versus arena, uh, unlocked when you complete one solo arena. So these things all sort of cascade with each other. Uh, the gauntlet also unlocks when you complete one solo arena. If you click play up here, though, this is your online stuff here. So you could, you could pick uh, a casual deck to play uh, online with somebody. We might actually try an online game before we leave here today because I have not played one yet. Um, but when I first clicked this menu originally, it actually said 
I always suggest you don't play online until you complete at least chapter 14 of the story. Um, now, when you earn different packs and decks and everything, you can actually open them with that menu. If you don't have any to open, you can see here that you can actually buy decks. So you can get six random cards for 100 gold. I currently have 10, but you can rack up the gold, as you can see, from doing those daily quests that we're, we showed off there. Now, there's different card sets. Obviously, you can buy cards for Heroes of Skyrim from the core set. And then there's multi-set uh, bundles where you can actually buy from both if you want. And let's see, back to the main menu here. Now if we go to the store, this is the, one of the main buttons here as you can tell, one of the biggest on the screen. In addition to buying card packs, you can also buy stories. Now under stories you'll see this is where the Dark Brotherhood stuff is. Now. If you want to buy the map for Wayrest, you can actually spend a thousand gold on it, which is kind of cool that they give you the option. But unfortunately for the Dark Brotherhood here for the triple bundle, 20 bucks, you have no coin option. But at least it tells you down here, you are about to spend real money, so keep that in mind. Uh, you can buy event tickets for different events that come up. Uh, this unlocks at Chapter 14 as well. And they also have special offers. I'm assuming this is going to be, you know, for anything that is on sale. But a lot of this, again, you can buy for uh, actual in-game gold, which is nice to see. Um, play sets of 10 exclusive cards for 1,500 gold. I wonder how long it actually takes to get that if you're you know, righteous and you keep playing this game. One of the things that does irritate about me about this game, you'll see that this menu keeps popping up for me because I'm hitting escape on the keyboard. And you actually have to hit this little arrow up here every single time. I'm, I'm used to escape taking me back to the game every time. But for some reason with this game, when I hit escape, that is not the case, and it really gets gets to me. Uh, special offer available here when you click this as well. So this just takes you again to like the bundle area. So they're they're really pushing the DLC and that kind of stuff in this game. But you know what? Let's let's jump into the story here, and let's uh, let's check out what the game is actually like here. Um, and it, yet again, it tells you, oh, if you want to play, you know, Fall of the Dark Brotherhood, you can buy it. But we're going to continue the normal story here. <sighs> I love a good storm. Makes the seafaring life interesting. How about pirates? No, they're right bastards. Treat an honest smuggler like a common merchant. There's no honor among scoundrels. So we are kind of jumping into the story, obviously, in, in the middle of it. I just finished Chapter 8. We met this <laughs> weird Argonian character uh, named Swims at Night, and he is a smuggler like myself. And uh, from here, you know, you could tell that it tells uh, a, pr a pretty cool story. It's got comic book t style art, and it actually, you know, it does the whole motion thing with them. Uh, so for here, we can actually click I. This battle has no shadow lane. Instead, the wind blows creatures between lanes. That's one of the big differences between this game and Hearthstone is that there are actual lanes being used here. So let's go ahead and hit play. Let's start this up. And now we can actually choose between decks and everything, too. I believe we've been using Band of Survivors the whole time, so I think we're just going to stick with that one for right now. So it's RC versus the Pirates. So a pirate ship is moving back and forth in the sea. You spot a pirate on the bow. And there you go. When you go second. You start the game with a ring of magicka. Select it when you want to use it for a temporary magicka boost. I stole this cargo fair and square. Let's send these dishonorable thieves into the bride. And just like Hearthstone, you get to pick your starting cards and everything and uh, replace them if you don't have any good ones to start out with. I am actually going to replace the Tiger because I, the Tiger is a great card, but I need some like low-level cards to start out with here. Um, let's redraw those two and see if we can get some... There we go. Two threes and a one. I can deal with that. Look alive, men! Or this storm will toss you about! So just like in Hearthstone, if you go second, you actually get uh, to, you know, add up, uh, or rather add another piece of uh, uh, mana to your pool to use, which is pretty cool. Um, let's, uh... Let's 
destroy a creature with two or less power. I guess we'll just use this one up. Oh, we can't use... Uh, thought we had a creature, and I guess that is the... Okay. Well, then we will use... We've only got one, so we'll use up this. Give us give ourselves two. We'll take go with our orc plan, here. You take on me. The only thing that makes that a waste, though, is I don't have another creature... to actually use that on, so that kind of sucks. But that's okay. Sometimes you have to make that sacrifice. The winds favor us. So now she's going to hit him or hit me. Die, there we go. Dog. So that's the thing with lanes here, is that within lanes, you actually get characters who are uh, considered guards, like this high defender that I just got. And as a guard, they work as a tank. And if you put them in uh, a certain lane that character there cannot attack you until they go through the guard, but this lane still can. So it gives you sort of a lot of strategy and options there to play around with. We're going to use this again so we can jump to three. And... Yeah, let's go with the battle orc. We'll put you I'm on the same side. Anything. And she does two to him, so... We'll attack her, take her out, My blade is thirsty. and we'll attack her. We'll move on. Away with you. Okay, we got three this time. But I think I'm going to... Let's see, what can we do? We'll deal the one damage to this dude, take him out. And... I guess that's all we got for right now. I'll use this too, just so we can get this guy out there. The more you have out there, the better. Because by next turn, you never know. You might be able to take out uh, the enemy character you know, in one fell swoop, which is pretty great. Now, what you just saw is that when the enemy character or you goes down a certain amount, you actually get to draw a free card whenever that happens. So I got four more times that could happen because it happened to me just last round, and now it's just happened to her. So let's move on to her turn. And she got a prophecy card, and when you draw a prophecy an card, you like actually it. get to put that right out on the board immediately, which is a pretty cool thing. And they are... Really hitting me hard here, though, so I need to get a guard out there of some kind. Uh, let's see. Not a valid target. So I guess I'm not understanding this card very good. Destroy a creature with two power or less. I guess this isn't considered a creature. But that's okay. How about this guy? No. That's alright. Let's continue on. Uh, he does more damage, so we'll put the guard there. My blade is thirsty. And let's see, four and two. So he only takes two. So because okay, this guy has less, but he does two. We're gonna take this guy out. There we go. My blade is thirsty. And we'll do the same thing with the orc here. For the grave. Boom. There, and she gets to draw another card. Magnus, God of Sorcery, what was that for him? I gotta see that again. Alright. When Lilac Sorcerer's ward is broken, double his power. And Slaughterfish gains plus two, plus zero at the start of your turn. Alright, so we might have to take that guy out. We got another guard here. Okay. Ooh, we don't have enough for the tiger. Okay, so one of these creatures I can definitely take out. Take you out. We got four left. Alright, so let's get you in there. Next to the guard. Guard can do some damage here. He can only do one damage, so we'll do that. For the grave. Boom. And we'll move on. 
I am Magnus. This day is mine. So they just put out a guard on their side there too. And what did he do? That big croc. You must deal two damage to a friendly creature when you summon this one. That's a pretty powerful creature though. Okay, what do we want to do here? Summon another creature, gain one health, so can I do that? We got a yep, we got a defender there. So maybe that's what we'll do. There's a play. Summon you. There's always a play. Summon you. Alright, so this guy. My blade is thirsty. We'll take him out because he was getting up to four. He was getting pretty powerful. We don't want him to be coming after us there for sure. Um My characters here have to attack. Let's see. Yeah, that's a better move there because then I can do nine damage to her right here. That's a huge hit right there. This guy's not very powerful. Uh, if you can get him out there, or I'm sorry, he's very powerful. So you can get him out there to get a hit without him dying. It's perfect. He's being protected by this guard right here, so he cannot be attacked by anybody until this guy's gone. So if I can keep him in the game, it's it's going to be that that much better for you. You know, it's it's great. And I might actually be able to win next turn if she doesn't get anything important out here. Oh, did damage to yourself. Well, and that is it there. So she is gone. So as you can tell, the object of the game is to always just take out as much health as you can. And uh, get the health down to zero, and boom, you've done it. That did not give me a whole lot of progress on my level 5 there, though. That's unfortunate. But that is typically how the game goes. Uh, you play around, you go through a chapter. You can tell there I made some uh, progress in my dailies there, which is pretty cool. And after every chapter, you do get some game rewards here. So let's see what we got in the bag. We got a whole 10 gold, which is not a lot, but that's 10 more gold towards 100, which gets us another card pack. And we got some endurance cards. So we got a Swamp Leviathan, uh, a Prophecy Guard. The Prophecy cards are really cool. Those are still great. So as you can see, it says here, you may play this for free when drawn from a rune loss. So very important cards to get if you get them uh, during those uh, really important times. And then you have uh, the Suppress card, which costs zero, and it silences a creature. So it removes all items, abilities, and stat modifications. That's huge, especially for a zero. So those can get thrown into your uh, deck area where you can add them to your decks, which is pretty cool. And that's it. That is one chapter. That is chapter nine of the game. And before we watch this, we're actually going to head back because uh, I don't want to spoil any more of the story for you guys in case you do plan to play through this. I felt like that chapter was like the most perfect chapter that you can show off because a whole lot of the story is not revealed, uh, which is pretty cool. Now you can see here we got a two under there to see... Uh, what we got for new so you can see up here we got all these different uh, elements classes however you want to classify them uh, but under endurance you see we got the number two and it shows us that we got a couple new cards suppress which we were talking about earlier and we know lurking money uh, mummy is new as well so great prophecy card so let's see what we can do here so we got our I haven't really played around with this deck at all. I don't think I've even seen it. Let's do let's do done here. Let's go back to our uh, band of survivors deck, the one we've actually been using quite a bit. Let's show off the deck building just a tiny bit here. So let's see. Is there anything on here that I haven't used? So we do have another prophecy one here. If you summon it, they deal one damage automatically. Let's see, sharpshooter scout. Number one, we do not have one of those, and we have two Sunhold Medics, so we might pull one of her out and add her in. There you go. It's as easy as that, adding cards and everything. Plunder, put two random items in your hand. I haven't used a whole lot of item cards and stuff throughout, but I'm always a, a little bit weary about removing guard cards. I don't want to remove him. 
got the snow wolf or clansman. I don't know, let's remove one of the orcs and let's add the plunder card in just to see what we can do. So you can see that I've got a pretty average, you know, a, amount of uh, cards here. You know, I got, let's see, how many is it? Two zeros, you know, eight ones, ten twos, ten threes. I'm right in the middle there, eleven fours. I, I really, you know, kind of uh, make it a little bit more uh, perpetual. Like I, I start small and then it goes up and then at the five and six level I have, you know, only four, uh, five and four cards. I have zero seven plus cards because... Most rounds I find don't they don't really get that high unless you're playing somebody really good I guess they won't get that high but there you go that is uh, that's how you do uh, your your deck editing in there and it's, it's really easy to do I feel like it's a, a very clear system you know so I think before we call this video here I think we're going to play around online just to see just to see what happens here. Let's see, how do we add you to casual? Oh, I, I see, you just pick, okay. We could even do a practice battle, but we're just gonna go right into it, why not? Now again, keep in mind, I have not played this game online at all. This, is, this will be my first online game. So let's see what happens. See if I get my ass completely kicked, which might happen. But you never know, right? Uh, let's see, I'll keep hand there because I go second. I think that's a pretty good starting hand. I mean, it's not great, but... Maybe I'll draw an another two card. So the, I, I have played Hearthstone a little bit online uh, over the years, and I go back to it every once in a while just to... to play around with it and play an online game because uh, it is free and it's fun to go back to, at least for me. And this this game is remarkably similar, and one of the things that you always end up waiting on is uh, the other player to kind of do whatever it is they're going to do. So without them playing a, a card right there, that was a, a free, easy uh, turn for me to be able to pass and get my, my uh, mana stones up here. Snow Wolf, you say, huh? Okay. Alright, what do we want to do? At most, I can do a three. Why not? Let's do it. Let's see what happens. We'll do the mighty ally. The day shall be ours. And he did have a condition which was like, break through if the top card of your deck is a... Uh, I forget. I think that's a strength card. Um, but apparently it was not. Because I got a big X on my card when I summoned him. So, what can you do? Can't win them all, right? Watch is mine. Oh man, this is a guard and he has regenerate. Something to keep in mind there. There's a prophecy card. It takes five to summon, though. All right, so he was smart there. This uh, snow wolf actually gets plus two to attack when uh, they have the most creatures in the lane. So what's important about that is that he played this guy first and then put the wolf out. So something important to keep in mind. Now, I had the legion shield here, so let's... Add that to this guy. And let's take a mana crystal and let's summon the wolf here as well. That will bring their attack down. And let's see. I can do four and take six. The guard with you. There we go. We'll, t we'll, we'll do a little bit of damage to that guy there and move on. But he's got regenerate, so it doesn't matter. So I have to kill him in one round. Something to keep in mind. Now, if that wolf attacks my guard, it's dead. Which would really help with uh, getting rid of that plus two that appears. 
on the wolf whenever they have the most characters it's in battle here. Battle. And that guy's pretty powerful, but... Are you going to make me take care of it, are you? Four, five... Hmm, hmm, hmm. Let's see what I can destroy here. So do four by... Okay, let's do this. Alright, so I can I destroy Meet this guy. Doom. Which I will. And we'll do this. And I'll kill this wolf just to get it out of there. There we go. Nothing in my way. And we'll move on. Thinking, thinking, thinking. I think so far we're pretty evenly matched here. One other thing I did not note before is that you can actually look at the uh, past transgressions in the game here. So if you need to know what happened a few turns back or whatever, you can. Which is kind of cool. I like that it keeps a log of that kind of thing. Gives you something to look at too when the other players trying to decide what they're doing. By our service, we honor Kai. Okay, what was hers? I missed it. She's prophecy summon, give a creature plus two, plus two, and guard. So she gave it to that character. Okay. Okay, so we're going to have five here. So we can do a white run trooper. We can summon the Valenwood Huntsman, but that would leave me with two and nothing else to do with it. Hmm... All right, I'll put him here. This guy will take her out. Take him. We we took one of his runes, or one of her runes, rather. We'll move on to the next turn. Pretty even match, you gotta say. But things can change drastically in the matter of one one or two turns. That's what's kind of exciting about this game. Still thinking. I have not yet hit the uh, time limit on a turn before, so I oh, wonder if there is command. one. Oh, another guard. Judge your soul. Okay, who am I going to draw this time? Okay, I got a guy with charge. I'm ready for anything. All right, so we got the charge guy and. We will summon you. Bondar, curse you. Uh, who do we want to do one damage to? Let's see. That'll be two. Four. You got to do the math here. So, Give it to that guy. Does he have a regenerator? Or anything? No, he's just a guard. Okay. So we'll attack you. Take him out. He needs four more. Take him out with that one. That destroys my guard, but his as well. I'll take her down to 20. And that'll be the turn there. But I still got most creatures out. We're still looking okay. And I got a guard in the wings here waiting for the next turn. This crazy tiger. This will be a good one to use when I do actually have more health. So if next turn I still have more health. There we go. Oh, that's a good card to play right now. Take heart, plus soldier. two, plus two. Wow, you have seven or more max magicka. That makes it a very powerful card. Uh, 
Okay, so I'm thinking, what do we get there? Imperial Legionnaire. I like that this, it puts the extra glow on a card, too, to remind you, like, hey, the extra thing will work here if you use this, so that's good to know. If I use that, it uses everything. I could use the three and the four in one turn. Or I can use the guard. I feel like I'm going to need the guard. Does he do anything special? Hero of Anvil costs one less for each creature summoned this turn. I see. Okay, so that was like during summon, I guess. So they're both the same right now, but who to put the guard with is the question. I guess with this guy. So we gotta get the guard out there. And I'm gonna completely bypass you. For the grave. Oh, okay, there it is. There's the time thing. Starts going around the, uh, you know, next turn button there. Just kind of funny. I know the Hearthstone run, it's like a fuse that runs across the playboard, so. Yeah, I attacked her with the wolf because I knew that if I attacked the Argonian, that would have only taken one off of his health anyway. And it would have killed my wolf, so it wasn't worth it. So I might as well put that one against her. I'm going to destroy my guard. Nice card. Good play. Strike hard. That's a four. Oh, killed my wolfie. Killed my wolfie. Okay, we got two guards here I can summon. So I think that's what we're going to do here. Who's more powerful? They're both the same again. All right, well, we're going to summon you. Summon you. You will attack her. And that's it. You gotta get through my guards. Deal three damage. Oh man, that was a good play. Worked out perfectly for them, didn't it? She's really gotta do something about my guard on the other side though, because that's gonna be really, really uh, painful for her if she doesn't. We fight as one. Any of these guards, what did I miss? When another friendly My creature attacks, Helgen Squad. Oh, he gains one for every single one. Damn. That is a powerful card. I'm looking to see if any of these guys have charge, but they don't seem to. Time to decide. Wait or attack. Okay. Alright, so at this point I gotta use this guy and get those two free cards. Because I still have two other ones I can do. Or uh, two other, or rather three other that I can still use. Three and four. Yeah, I might as well use him. Let's see, I'm going to be able to take six off of her right now. So I'll put you up. For the grave. There we go. So I got deal one damage to all enemies here. That will be helpful next turn if I decide to use that. Let's see what happens. I draw power from these trees. What does she do? While his speaker is in play, your max magicka is increased by one. Wow. Brings him up to 11. Well, that guard totally put a damper on things for me there. But if they don't do anything to my cards here, if he decides not to kill them... There we go. I knew something was going to happen there. He could almost take me out here. Ooh, man. I gotta do something this next turn or it's over. I need somebody with charge. Anybody. 
I might be hosed this game. All right, I got 10 cards. Okay, let's see, four I can do. Oh no, I can win this. I think I got this. So I do four damage to that. I have three and three, and then I do a fireball to all enemies. Does that include her? That's the question. All right, let's try it. Let's see what happens. Cause I gotta think quick, right? And here's the win. Boom. I won my first online game in Elder Scrolls Legends. How cool is that? Almost hit level six, but not quite. But man, that is, I, you know, when you're watching this, you know, on uh, the video here, you might watch it and think, wow, this is, this is kind of boring to watch. But if you're playing it, it's a, it's a lot of fun. I, I really enjoy it. Um, this has been out for a couple months now. I come back to it every couple weeks just to, you know, play around with it and play, play another story, uh, you know, uh, chapter. And that was my first online game, so I might come back and play more games online and everything, too. But I, I for it being out for a couple months, you know, they've added a lot of stuff already to it um, as far as cards and fixes and, and changes to cards and that kind of thing. They've already got stories that you can buy for it if it ends up being something you really like. $20 for the story stuff seems a little steep, but I'm not exactly sure how long or how much you get in there. It says, oh, you do get 25 new chapters, so maybe for 20 bucks, that's worth it. You also get a Doom Wolf mount for uh, Elder Scrolls Online. So if you play Elder Scrolls Online as well, you get the Wolf mount with it. If that's worth it to you, then hey, that's going to work out. $20 does still seem a little steep for some of that stuff, but maybe that's just me thinking out loud. I'm not really sure, but I've always felt that way with Hearthstone, too. I've never bought anything in Hearthstone because I've always thought that the DLC was a little on the steep side. But regardless, the base game of this is free. So if you want to check this out, it's free to play on Steam. I believe it's free to play on mobile now, too. So if you want to play on your, your iPad uh, or your phone or whatever, you can check it out for free and uh, see what you think of it. So, you know, for a free game, you got nothing to lose. Check it out see what you think. But... There you go. That is Elder Scrolls Legends. Check it out. See what you think. And I will see you all next time on GGRC. Thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to check out some of the other GGRC episodes. And if you're feeling a little retro, why not jump into the Quake Grave, where you can watch me play through a lot of different custom maps in Quake. Enjoy. Enjoy.